This is just an absolutely wild way to write down the square root of 2. 3 halves, that part's not so wild, minus 2 times this crazy nested series, 1 fourth minus the quantity, 1 fourth minus the quantity, 1 fourth minus the quantity, on and on forever, squared, 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 all the way back out, and when we compute that, apparently we get the square root of 2. An alternate way of writing this would be to say that this crazy nested series, 1 fourth minus 1 fourth minus 1 fourth on and on forever, squared 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 squared, is equal to 3 fourths minus the square root of 2 divided by 2. I saw this series from Dr. Michael Penn on YouTube, and when you're dealing with this kind of crazy nested series or weird continued fractions or other kinds of infinite series, you have to be really careful about under what circumstances you could expect such a series to converge and under what kinds of circumstances actually it would diverge. That is, it would grow on and on forever toward infinity, or it would alternate forever and ever between very different values. Dr. Penn was super careful to justify precisely why we would expect such a series to converge, and I'm not going to do any of that. Instead, presuming this series converges, I'm going to show you a quick and dirty method where we can calculate just the crazy looking nested 1 fourth minus 1 fourth minus 1 fourth on and on forever squared 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 squared. This quick and dirty method basically has two steps. The first step is, let's go ahead and name the value of this series. Let's call it x. The next step is to recognize that it's a self-similar series. That is, if you start looking at this innermost portion, and then kind of slowly zooming out from there, you can see that at each step in the computation of the nested series, we're looking at the value of the series itself. That is, if this nested series is equal to x, whatever number x is, we can also say that x is going to be equal to the next level out of that series. That is, we can take the value of the series itself, again, we're calling it x, and we can recompute x as 1 fourth minus the value of that series squared. That is, we can basically zoom out one level deeper into this series and say that x is equal to 1 fourth minus that whole series squared. But we know what the value of this series is, we called it x. So we can just as easily say x is equal to 1 fourth minus x squared. And this is now a very simple quadratic equation that we could solve with something like the quadratic formula. That is, you could take that right side and expand it out into 1 16th minus 1 half of x plus x squared, manipulate this a little bit into x squared minus 3 halves x plus 1 16th equals 0. If you're not a fan of fractions, you could multiply everything in this equation by 16 to get rid of all of those denominators giving you the quadratic equation 16x squared minus 24x plus 1 equals 0, which like I said could then be solved with quadratic formula. a equals 16, b equals negative 24, and c equals 1. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. After a little simplification, we can turn this into x equals 24 plus or minus the square root of 512 divided by 32. And even further, we can simplify that into x equals 24 over 32 plus or minus 16 root 2 over 32, which finally gets us back to 3 fourths plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2. Now the plus or minus means this series could actually have two different values. Remember the one we were interested in showing it was equal to was 3 fourths minus the square root of 2 over 2. The two different values relate to when this series could be expected to converge and when it could be expected to diverge, but for our quick and dirty purposes we are done. We have shown that this crazy looking series, 1 fourth minus 1 fourth minus 1 fourth minus on and on forever squared 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 squared, squared is in fact equal to 3 fourths minus the square root of 2 over 2. Thank you to Dr. Michael Penn for bringing up that identity in the first place for the square root of 2 equals 3 halves minus 2 times this crazy series. I'll put his original video in the description down below. If you liked this video, please stick around, subscribe to the channel, and otherwise I will see y'all next time.